Good morning to all of my friends today. It's good to be coming to you on this broadcast today. I want to talk to you from Psalms 23. This is one of the great chapters in the entire Bible. People all over the world use this scripture, especially at funerals, but this is good for everyday living. So I want to quote to you some of The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Oh, it's great. He even restores our soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And then he goes on to say, you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And you know, Satan is our enemy today, but the Lord makes a table for us where we can sit down and enjoy the blessings of God. And we have victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over. If you're a born again Christian, you're happy and you're anointed and you glad that you're going to heaven. We've got a lot to live for today. And then it says in the last verse, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know, in, in reviewing just a little bit of what I've already said to you, the Lord is our shepherd. He guides us every day. The Bible often uses this figurative of speech to describe the sheep, how the shepherd took care of the sheep in the fields and protected them from danger. And the Lord is our shepherd. Oh, yes, there's many difficulties that happen in our life today. God never did tell you that you wasn't going to be tested and tried and that you wasn't going to have difficulties and problems. But you're an overcomer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. If you'll hold on to God's unchanging hand and keep the true faith, don't let Satan steal your faith. That's one of the things he wants to do more than anything else is to steal your faith. But he makes us to lie down in green pastures. It's going to be wonderful when we can lie down in that nice green grass and enjoy it like the sheep used to do. We can enjoy the blessings of God and feast upon his promises. And I thank God for him every day for the promises of God. And when, we're, when we get down and it seems like uh, we need to be restored, God restores our soul. Never give up on God. Never give up on your life. I thank you for listening to this broadcast today. And remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. He is a victory over death, grave, and hell. And the victorious Savior is with us today. Thank you so much for listening to this broadcast today.